Ah yes, Clash Royale. It's getting pretty old and the more years that go by, the more we start to forget how weird Clash Royale was at one point. In this video, we'll be taking a look at 12 things that only OGs might remember. This is supposed to be a part two to a video I did over a year ago. I still can't believe it's been that long. So if you wanna watch that video too, links will be down below and it'll also be at the end of the video. So let's get right into it. Let's do this. Remember when you couldn't see that blinking icon when the next card is a legendary? We would count commons, rares, epics, and at the end, if you got a legendary, you would be so hyped. Bro, facts, yo, facts. Basically, what he's referring to is back in the day, chess didn't have this legendary effect on the number if your next card was a legendary. So there was no way of knowing what the next card would be. The only way to kind of predict a legendary would be in a chest is to pay attention to those cards you were getting. I know. It sounds kind of boring. I don't exactly remember what you were looking for, but I remember that there was a pattern you were looking for. Like, if you got a certain amount of epics or rares, your chances of getting a legendary was higher or lower. I only remember that, I'm sorry, I never paid attention. I would just speed through my chest, like I didn't really care. Still though, I'm sure OGs will remember this one. The old overtime music. Okay. If you watch a lot of my videos, you may have heard me use this old music as background music from time to time. What I'm referring to is the old music that used to play when Overtime started in a match. As a refresher, I'll play the current song for a few seconds, and then some of the old one. You old yet? Goblin Barrel Impact Damage It seems like an eternity since Goblin Barrels did impact damage. In fact, some may not even remember it doing so at all. That's completely understandable because the Goblin Barrel only did impact damage for 7 months. Then in July of 2016, it was removed and instead it was given a elixir cost decrease. So it went from 4 elixir to 3 elixir. I knew I had to include this one though because it's coming to be one of those forgotten things if it isn't already. Definitely an OG thing. Winning crowns. Okay, you can still win crowns. They usually show up after a match and they go to the season pass. But a long time ago, these crowns meant something completely different. There was no season pass. So obviously, I'm talking about the clan battles and the clan chest. Now these two game modes were named differently, but after the event, they usually gave you the same chest. Kind of. See, the clan chest was an event where you collected crowns by doing challenges and regular battles, and those crowns would then be added to the clan chest. If your clan did well and collected enough crowns, you could increase the size of that chest. At the end of the events, you would, well, open the chest. Clan battles, on the other hand, was how Supercell first introduced 2v2 to the world. You could only play 2v2 when the clan battle event was active. Basically, the same event as the clan chest, but instead of regular battles, you did this new thing called 2v2. Both of these events had you collect crowns, and seeing screenshots like this, where the crowns are in the results screen, is super nostalgic. Today, whenever you collect crowns for the season pass, it's no longer displayed. You just kinda get crowns out of nowhere. Obviously though, the clan battles and the clan chest has been removed for years by now. Removed sound effects. There's been a lot of changes to how cards or different buttons sound in the game. But did you know, some of these sounds still remain in the game. I'm gonna play a short clip of these sounds and see if you remember any of them. I did not include the old King sounds because we already listened to that in the last episode, but the rest of them, here, have a listen. Pick up. 
Paying gold for battles. I've mentioned this one in facts videos and my history videos and pretty much a very short period of the game's history you had to pay to battle. Yes, this included friendly battles because back then there were only two game modes, regular and friendlies. So pretty much you can say that you had to pay for every battle. Now of course, you paid these battles with gold, but shortly after soft launch, Super Silver removed the need to pay for battles and instead nerfed some of the chests to include less gold, since you no longer needed to pay for battles. Of course, chests since then have been buffed a lot, but it's crazy to think back when you had to pay a fee to battle. Level 6 Legendaries Level 6 Legendaries don't exist. Or do they? <laughs> okay, maybe it doesn't make sense anymore because the levels have been changed, but basically, a level 6 legendary is the same as a level 14 legendary today, which is only achievable with a mirror because a mirror allows cards to go to a higher level than their max. But let's take it back to 2016 when legendaries maxed out at level 6. But then, shortly after, they realized it was way too OP. So, they ended up removing level 6 legendaries. Do any of you remember that happening? It was like the wild west of Clash Royale. I know. After they removed level 6 legendaries, you could only get them with a mirror. But for a brief period there, you could upgrade legendaries a level higher than they do today. Now that's a throwback. Couldn't spectate. Remember when we would battle, but... Nobody could watch. <laughs> yeah, spectating a battle wasn't always a thing. Which is weird because it feels like we've had it since the start. And technically, yes, we have. See, spectating a battle was added in May of 2016. So for five months, we couldn't spectate battles. This was a pretty short time period, and that's why it seems like we've always had this. It's crazy to think about and super nostalgic. Draft chest. This one wasn't that long ago, so I think a lot of you will remember, but remember when we got this beefed up draft chest at the end of every season? Yeah, what happened to that? Well, apparently when the trophy road was added in April of 2019, they got rid of the draft chest because we could now get rewards elsewhere. Or did they? Yes and no, you can still get this chest in a pack with the chest. But you can't earn the chest, you have to buy it with real money. It's safe to say that the chest has been removed though, because the reason we knew it has already been removed. It's no longer the seasonal draft chest, it's just a chest that pops up in the shop every once in a while. Needing to be level 8 for challenges. Remember the days when you need to be a level 8 to participate in tournaments and challenges and a lot more stuff? Yeah, yikes. Glad that changed, huh? I mean, today, it may not seem like a big deal because it's probably easier to reach level 8, but back then, it was a real grind. I mean, I was so happy I reached level 8. It took, I don't know, a couple months or something. Maybe longer, I don't know, I can't really think that far back. I think it took like a year, actually. I have no idea. Anyways, in October of 2017, this was lowered to level 5. So now, mostly everyone could play in these tournaments and challenges to earn new cards. The Wooden Chest This small little chest had quite the history. It was moved, balanced, kind of removed, and then actually removed. Today, except for the tutorial, you can no longer get these wooden chests. But trust me, you aren't missing out on much. These wooden chests gave you very little cards, but I think what makes it so nostalgic is that you got two of these every day, for years. And unlocking a legendary from one of these was godly. So, where did it go? Well, after quests were added, they were moved over to the Daily Gifts tab. And then, when quests were removed in the introduction of Seasons, the wooden chest suddenly disappeared. And that was the last time we saw it. R.I.P. Having to switch Game Center or Google Play account just to play on your mini. Ah uh, yes, the days before Supercell ID. After years of dealing with the pain and Clash Royale and Clash of Clans of having to constantly log in and out, Supercell ID was a major upgrade that helped so much. You no longer had to deal with iTunes, Game Center, Google Play. It's now all handled in the game. 
I believe Supercell ID was added sometime in 2019, and in 2020, it was overhauled to be better than ever. So for a few years, there was no Supercell ID. So guys, that is pretty much it for this list of 12 things that maybe only OGs might remember. I know a lot of you might know some of these things because of facts videos or history videos. I mentioned a lot of these things. But yeah, I hope I brought back some good old memories. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a gaming out. Peace!